coming up in this season finale of my life. So before I start this video, I want to explain. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have been graduated. I graduated December 10th and I'm just now getting around to posting this video and it's January 16th. So this video is very, very late and I am so sorry that this video is so late y'all. It has just been a lot um, after graduation with adjusting to a new routine and kind of trying to still figure out my routine. I still don't have a routine. It's just been so much going on and I'm definitely going to be doing like a life update in my more recent vlogs, but this video was just old. So yeah, I just kind of went to clarify that that's why this video is just getting posted if you follow me on instagram you know that i've been graduated i've been took my pictures this was in november y'all so this wasn't even december i took my pictures at the beginning of november and it's just like life has been crazy graduation was crazy after graduation was crazy and i'm still not even adjusted to post-grad life but i'm making it and i'm finally getting around to posting this video and i've missed y'all so 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 much so i did want to clarify that a little bit before we start the video i know some of y'all follow me on instagram y'all probably like, girl this is so late like you've been posting your pictures you've been graduated you're not even at sam no more but that that is why so i hope y'all enjoy this video and yeah hi guys it's Haley, and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Haley, and i make lifestyle videos here on youtube so if that takes a bus for you you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below go ahead and join the family i promise you will not regret it for today's video i'm going to be starting off my graduation photo shoot prep with me vlog i'm super super excited y'all i'm going to be getting my lashes done my hair done a wig installed y'all i haven't gotten a wig installed in a long long time i'm super excited for this graduation photo shoot I'm really nervous though. Y'all already know the drill for all my maintenance vlogs. I literally wear this jacket in every single maintenance vlog, so y'all could probably already tell that it was gonna be a prep with me vlog. My camera is unfortunately dying right now and I do not have an extra battery, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record the process of me getting my lashes done. And I brought my tripod and everything, y'all, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to set it up because my camera's not even probably gonna make it to the end of me talking right now. If not, I'll definitely go ahead and show y'all what my lashes look like after the appointment. I'm super excited, y'all. I have not got my lashes done since freaking Jamaica so it's about that time but these are the lashes beforehand literally nothing you can barely see them and I'm gonna show y'all after the fact So it's a little bit later. Well, kind of a lot of bit later because it's literally like six o'clock. I went home, took a nap, and I didn't even show y'all my lashes. So let me kind of come this way so y'all can see. I got the mink classic for this set, y'all, and it looks so freaking good. I love them. Y'all know my lash tech always, always snaps. If you are in the Houston area, I definitely recommend going to her because she always does a good job. But we're at the beauty supply store because I need to get some duckbill like clips for my wig so she can pin the curls on my wig. Oh, I can't see. Or my glasses i'll be having to take my glasses off because for some reason my camera does not know my face without my glasses and it gets like really really dark on the screen and the lighting goes wonky and like right now it's doing decent but before it wasn't going right she sent me a picture of them i'm gonna show y'all their duck bill clips so they just look like this and she recommended that i go ahead and get two packs and this is just so that when she does my hair um the curls can stay in for the next day because my photo shoot is not tomorrow but it's sunday so i kind of need them to stay tight so i thought they would be in this aisle but i I don't see them so i think i need to go to the aisle with like brushes and you know like hair clips and stuff like that okay i found them but these are kind of small well it's just like four of them in a pack so this is a pack of 12 i guess this is the longest that they get i'm gonna go ahead and just get two of them since she told me to get two and then i also wanted to get a wig bang so i could lay like the front down it's gonna be clueless but i still want to make sure that it doesn't move too much like overnight if i decide to keep it on my head i found a wig band this one looks like a good one and it's cute and then i'm just looking for an edge to brush and then i'm done loki i need another lip gloss too before i leave because i'm only on my last lip gloss and i need my lip gloss so i need to remember that too i love the beauty spot store y'all 
um it's no beauty spot store just such a vibe you just be finding stuff that you don't even know you need and it's just it's great and then i'm gonna just get one of these i already have an edge toothbrush for y'all my edge toothbrush is so crusty and then i just need a foam to lay my like edges just in case i end up having to redo them i have a friend that used to use a lot of body products in general so i think they'll work good okay y'all so i'm gonna show y'all like this because it's really really dark outside and gloomy so it's getting darker even sooner so i'm sorry for the sucky lighting but i went ahead and got the melt band i got some of the lottie body foam that y'all saw and then i got two of these she said these were the ones she was looking for so i'm glad i found this pack of 12. i ended up getting the as i am curling jelly because if y'all watched my last video i was talking about the hair wax that i did and how defined it had my hair and i feel like this curling jelly is probably the basis of what they put in that hair like temporary hair color so i want to try this and see if it's what it was because my hair was like super super defined when i use it so we'll see i really didn't need to get this this was an impulse buy but none of the stores near me at school have any of this type of stuff so i gotta get it now then y'all saw me go ahead and get a new edge to brush this is just so i could have an easier time laying my like wig edges lastly i went ahead and got another one of my favorite lip glosses y'all know i swear by this lip gloss and i can only find this lip gloss at the beauty spot stores in houston so i had to go ahead and get another one even though i think i have two right now one of them or both of them is running low so and then i lost one because i dropped one on the floor of the restroom in my job y'all and i threw it away immediately i don't know if there's anything else that i have to do kind of pertaining to prepping for the trip today i said trip prepping for my graduation photo shoot so i'll see y'all tomorrow tomorrow is my hair appointment and i'm just super super excited about it y'all i haven't had a wig in a long time so i am a little nervous because i don't know how it's gonna look on me so i'm nervous y'all but i will see y'all tomorrow bright and early because i have to get up at like 10 o'clock in the morning so see y'all tomorrow that's all for today good morning guys it is the next morning i am currently on the way to my hair appointment my appointment is for 10 30 and it says i'm gonna make it by 10 17 so i'm on the way it's about 20 minutes away from me luckily i didn't book at a time with a lot of traffic because it is sunday when i went to go drop the wig off i went on friday at um like four or five which is like the most horrible time to go y'all it took it turned a 25 minute drive into a 46 minute drive y'all it was horrible i'm super excited to see what this wig turns out like i have not had a wig done in so so long and i'm a little nervous because i don't know if i really liked how the last wigs i got turned out on me i don't know if i was really a fan of them because i'm so used to myself with my hair or with braids it'll definitely be different but she does hair really good so i'm not nervous about going to her at all i am getting a side part on this side and it's a five by five closure wig that i actually found off of amazon so i'm a little nervous about that part i hope that the wig can deliver because i know that the stylist will deliver but i just hope that the wig delivers sorry i'm not making eye contact i'm driving and i want to be careful but yeah so I'm just on the way uh, I should be there a little bit early which is perfect because I got me some Shipley's donuts that'll just give me enough time to sit down and eat real quick I'm super excited though I don't know if I'm gonna take the wig off once I get it done because I do want to preserve the wig I brought the pin curls and all that good stuff that I got yesterday at the beauty spot store so I don't know if I'm just gonna sleep in the wig overnight because I really don't want to mess it up because I don't have like a flat iron hot comb or like curling rod to kind of like fix anything if I sleep a little too rough so I might just take it off put on a bonnet and then put it back on tomorrow but also with that I don't know if I'm gonna put it on right like I feel like last time I had a wig I tried to put it on how the girl put it on and it just didn't give I don't know we'll see what happens when I get there but yeah other than that I'm just gonna go ahead and drive I decided to go ahead and start the vlog now because I always forget to have a car tripod y'all like this is the specific reason that my sister got me a car tripod so that when I'm on the way to places I can go ahead and talk to you guys instead of always having to stop and talk especially when I'm in a rush I'm not really in a rush right now but I know if I were to stop somewhere and talk i'd probably be like pushing it kind of close i got a uh, orange juice and then i got a pink sprinkle donut and then two glazed donuts and i'm about to tear it up i almost got a kolache but i thought that would be doing a lot i'm over here rambling y'all don't care about what i'm eating for breakfast or maybe you do. i will see you guys when i get to the point man i'm gonna go ahead and drive because i'm probably gonna be on the highway in like a little bit i will see y'all when i get there she is gonna let me record a little snippets of the appointment which i'm very very thankful for yeah so y'all will be seeing some of it and i will see y'all there bye
Hi guys, so it is after my hair appointment. It is now 106 and I just arrived to my eyebrow lady. I literally almost forgot that I needed to get my eyebrows started, y'all. Look at my eyebrows. And if y'all know anything about getting your makeup done, y'all know that when you go to get your makeup done, it's always best to have your eyebrows done so they can find the shape, y'all. I would have been fried because my eyebrows suck when they are not done. Like, whew y'all good thing i remember but my hair appointment went so well i really really love how she did my hair it's in the bonnet she did the pin girls and she even gave me a bonnet y'all she even gave me a bonnet y'all book with her she was so sweet but i'll go ahead and show y'all what it's looking like like it looks so freaking good from what i can see and have already seen it looks beautiful and i'm just so excited for me to be able to take it down and see it in full effect tomorrow and it was just a really enjoyable appointment like she has such good customer service but I'm talking really fast because I'm literally um, about to call my eyebrow lady so she can guide me and show her where I need to go in here because I've never been over here before. I just wanted to update y'all real quick. Y'all are definitely going to see the full thing of the hair um, tomorrow because my pictures are tomorrow and I'm super, super excited about that. I'm going to bring y'all hopefully along with me to do my makeup. I need to go ahead and ask the lady if I can record and then I'm going to be bringing y'all um, behind the scenes of my grand photo shoot and I'm just so excited. I'm a little nervous but now that it's getting closer, I'm just like more so excited and ready to get it over with. I don't know if I'm going to record my eyebrows getting threaded because I have to like hold my eyebrows if you've ever gotten your eyebrows started you know you have to like hold them down for them so I'll definitely show y'all the before this is before they are literally atrocious like horrible my camera doesn't even want to focus on them at all that's how bad it is and then I'm gonna show y'all the after in just a second these are the brows I just asked her to keep them thick and just clean them up and also just leave the front alone so they look way better they're way cleaner and she kept them thick this time I really really like how she did them y'all my face looks so much better I feel I'm like just more cleaned up when I get my eyebrows done and she did a really really good job that is all for right now the next time I talk to y'all I will probably be on the way home or already back home for my pictures I don't really have any I have to pee so bad y'all I have to pee so bad I'm literally about to explode I'm probably not gonna do anything until I get home then I'm gonna do like exfoliating some face masks just prepping for tomorrow but as far as running around we are done <laughs> So it is much, much later. I am back home. It is literally 10 46 p.m. and I need to be in the bed like soon because y'all have to get up at like six o'clock in the morning because I'm getting my makeup done about 45 minutes away from here. So I need to be up at six o'clock ish so I can get up and take a shower and then we need to be headed out by 7 15. So I need to be getting some sleep soon, but I wanted to do a face mask so I could go ahead and like detox and prep my skin for my makeup so it can kind of look good. I have like a small little pimple on my chin, but it's nothing serious, so I'm not really like you know too torn up about it my skin isn't doing the best right now but i feel like lately it's been pretty chill for this week and i thought that it was gonna like go haywire just because i was gonna have a photo shoot but it's doing pretty okay my lips are super dry i should probably put something on them so i'm just gonna do a quick face mask and then i'm gonna wash this off and put some moisturizer on my face and then the last thing i need to do for tonight is go ahead and put on these fake press on nails i got these from marshall's they were literally like 4.99 and they're super cute i don't know if you can see but they're not just plain they have like a little white like half tip on them and then i also got some nail files just in case I need to go ahead and like edit the shape of these in case they're too big for my nails and I also got this nail glue from Amazon this is the nail bond NYKF professional super strong nail glue okay this was the one with like the best rating so hopefully these can stay on i don't really care if these stay on past the one day of my photo shoot honestly i just need them to stick and stay strong while i'm doing everything else that i'll be doing i'm pretty sure there's like extras in here so that if they do pop off i can go ahead and replace them or not or not one two three four five okay oh wait yeah Am I tripping? Yeah, there are extras. I'm over here forgetting that we have 10 fingers, y'all. And I'll definitely be packing these in my bag of stuff for the photo shoot tomorrow, which I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all that now. So my best friend gave me her duffel bag and let me use it so we can have a place for all this stuff to be, y'all, because it's gonna be kind of a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I am packing for tomorrow, including my outfits, because y'all have yet to see my outfits and see what I'm actually wearing, because I have been literally ripping and running. So for my grand photo shoot, I am doing three different looks. So I'm gonna be doing like a classy dressy look with a dress and my cap and my stole and then I'm gonna be going ahead and doing like a casual look with a sweatshirt pleated skirt and then some converse kind of like a dress down look and then I'm also gonna be doing a four-way edit of just like um kind of like headshots basically like my shoulders up it'll be a four-way edit of me in my different color caps according to my school color so let me go ahead and show y'all I'm just gonna show you everything that's in the back actually we're just gonna do a little mini pack with me for my grad photos 
I went ahead and found this personal fan at Best Buy. I was talking about this earlier in my video and I didn't find the one that I wanted. I wanted one that was like super handheld. This one is kind of big, but it's still small. Like it's not huge. It's just bigger than what I expected, but this will get the job done y'all because it blows super hard. I know y'all can't feel that, but it blows super hard. And this is what I need because I'm such an easy sweater y'all. And it was only $14.99 from Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe. It is chargeable. So I've been charging it like all day so it doesn't run out of battery. On the box and the lady in the store told me that it has up to like eight hours of battery life. So this should be more than enough charge. Next up, my sweatshirt for my photo shoot actually came. I ordered this off of Etsy. I'm going to put the shop below, but she did such a good job. It's just this half and half shirt. Um, it says Sam Houston alumni and it's just super freaking cute i am so excited about this this is one of the last pieces that i needed to come in the mail and it just it's perfect like i honestly love it and the lady did such a good job she was such a good communicator on etsy too and i feel like she did a really good job with responding to me and getting back with me very fast so i'll definitely put her shop down below if y'all are looking for any like kind of sweatshirts like this she does make different schools like a whole bunch of different schools and a whole bunch of different like college gear so y'all should definitely go check her out i'm just so in love with it y'all it's half and half and I think that is just so freaking cute. That is gonna be for my dress down casual look. Um, I also got this collar sleeveless shirt that will be going underneath this, just so I can have the collars poke out. I'm sure y'all have seen the look, but if not, I'll insert like some pictures of just like the little casual preppy looks that a lot of people do for the grad photos. I got this from Marshalls. It was only like $8, y'all. It was on clearance, so that was a really good deal. And then also for the same look, I went ahead and got this white pleated skirt from Amazon. It was a really good price and it actually fits really good too and then from cotton on in the mall i got these um kind of like knee ankle high socks that have these two black lines on them this is also going to go with this outfit as well and then also going with that look i have some high top like platform converse these aren't the super super platform ones these are actually kids shoes y'all i was looking everywhere for these converse and the only way that i found them was going to the foot lockers for kids and they are going to be super cute with the outfit i'm so freaking excited about it like i really can't wait for my elegant like dressed up look i have these shoes Shoes, these little sparkly heels i got these from a store in the mall called q i think just one of those little random stores these were literally twenty dollars y'all twenty dollars i know i just wanted something that sparkled because kind of like my theme for graduation is bling i want to walk across stage and i just want to sparkle and i want my cap to sparkle my stole to sparkle my dress to sparkle like literally i just want to be sparkling and blinging i got some nipple pasties from marshall's for 5.99 because my dress kind of cuts low in the boob area and i think i ain't got much but i do not want to have a nip slip so i went ahead and got these Sorry for the slight angle change. My camera ran out of space on me, but we're back. And then for my jersey look, I went ahead and got the like popular o poly dress with the beaded sleeves y'all this dress is so beautiful i'm almost like scared to even touch it because i just really don't want to mess it up but it just has like this kind of like corset top a little peekaboo right there i was a little nervous about this part but um everybody told me that it just it wasn't too revealing that was i was really nervous that it was going to be too revealing and then the sleeves are just really pretty and beaded y'all this freaking dress is so cute y'all have probably seen this dress like all over tiktok or whatever it's like kind of one of their more popular dresses but i knew i wanted a white dress but like i told y'all i knew i wanted it to be a little bit special and like have a little bit of like extra pizzazz to it so i thought this dress was just perfect and it is i love it so 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 much and then i'm also going to be doing my sam houston stole with the dress look but this is my shu stole just pretty plain and i also did get a kente stole that says class of 2023 on it i don't know if i'm going to be wearing this in the pictures because i don't know if it really matches with my clothing but i'm definitely going to be putting this on for graduation and i'm so freaking excited about this like i love this so much and then lastly i just have my caps so i ordered different color caps i'm going to insert um like kind of look alike of the four-way edit that i want to do i got the idea off of pinterest and i just like literally fell in love with it because i I think it's so cute but instead of the random colors that y'all will see on the pictures i'm going to be doing my school colors so i'm going to be doing blue orange white and black i mean black is not really school color but it technically is because sam houston changed the colors this year to black and orange but we're not going to talk about that because when i ascended it was it was blue and orange and i had a whole debate on what colors i should do for this freaking photo shoot but i decided on blue and orange because i like the blue and orange and when i went there it was blue and orange so i did need a fourth color though because i was going to do two whites but everyone told me that you should probably I'll just do a fourth color and do black so i'm gonna have my black cap that actually comes with my cap and gown it just has this little sam houston symbol on the tassel and then my mom was kind enough to put some orders in on amazon for three more different color caps 
So I just have this orange one that has a 2022 tassel in it. And then I have a blue one that has a 2022 tassel in it. And then I also have a white one that has another tassel in it. I'm gonna have to repack this bag, y'all. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> and then lastly, I just have my bonnet with me just in case I end up like forgetting a bonnet. I have this little brush um, that I'm gonna pack. And then I also pack some snacks. We have some water in the fridge just in case we get hot. I am such a sweater, y'all. And my main thing is like, I just really don't wanna sweat out my makeup or sweat off my hair so i'm trying to keep myself and my body temperature down hopefully i can do it hopefully it's cool tomorrow and it's not hot because i can't i can't with the heat y'all i cannot i'm also going to be packing another pair of sandals so i don't have to walk in my heels around campus because i am not a hill girl i do not know how to walk in heels i am not good at walking a hill so y'all gonna have to pray for me that i make it in these hills so that's basically it i'm about to go take off this mask i haven't done nails in a minute so hopefully these turn out decent and then i will take myself to sleep because my room is a mess and i really really need to get in the bed because i'm pushing the clock good morning guys it's the next day and we're about to get ready to head to my makeup appointment i'm with em y'all i have a, the realest best friend ever y'all because she is up with me it's literally six o'clock in the morning like or it's seven or six but we had to get up at six o'clock to even get up and she is helping out she's gonna do the driving and everything like I'm the best yeah, best, 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 best friend like literally the realest <laughs> best friend ever y'all and her shoot is next week so i'll be doing the same for her and just making it easier so like the person whose shoe day it is we don't have to show too much about driving apart. and we're about to get ready to go head to the makeup lady she's about 45 minutes out we could not find anybody down here who did makeup um you know at least what we were looking for i don't know what i'm not even say <laughs> it was not looking good for us okay so we're gonna go um we're actually gonna stop at smoothie king first and then we're gonna go get the makeup done just so we can have something lighter on our stomachs we're All about right. to go ahead and head over i'm not gonna record during it because i honestly didn't ask her and it's early in the morning so i don't know how she would feel about like recording i don't want to just spring it on her the day of so i'll just record after we're done and i will see y'all guys when we're finished and we're heading back hopefully everything goes good okay y'all so she got on really fast it's literally nine o'clock we got here early and she let me come in early and this is the finished product y'all it looks super good she did so freaking good y'all we're just about to probably like head back home um get something to eat and oh yeah i have to get um glitter for michael's because one of the ideas for the shoot was to throw some glitter up like towards the end and i just need to get cash for the photos but she did so good the makeup looks really really good y'all like she she did a really good job y'all i'm excited we're about to head home or not head home head to go run those errands and i'll pull out the camera for sure if we are out and about if we're not running back and forth hey y'all so we are in michael's we're looking for glitter we have a whole bunch of glitter look thankfully oh look at this one because i think i want to do like silver or gold y'all or even that one has blue why this nice which one this one the one you just hold no, this, no, one? this one Oh, it has blue in the back? Look. Oh, shoot. See, we knew Michael's was the right place to go. Thank you, M. Because M is the one who told us to get to Michael's. We just need something that you can see. Like, this looks good. Oh, too. It has, like, a lot of different colors. Oh, yeah, those big, are big. Too. Okay, maybe this one. And it's only $3. Yeah, I think this is the one. Like this one. So, we're going to go ahead and do this one. My camera won't focus because it hates it? me. And then we'll just throw it up like, shh. We're going to do it at the end because um, if I do it at the beginning, then I'm going to have glare all over me for the rest of the pictures. And we do not want that. So, we're going to do this, like, last, like, towards yeah, the yeah. end so it can get everywhere and then we'll be done. We found it and that was quick too. So we're about to go ahead and check it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you see the fit. Not the sweater, the skirt. Oh, you see the socks. Or you can flip it up. <laughs> just the nose. Is that the only part that looks sweaty? Let me see. Uh, just like, pins, cross. Okay, okay. I can do one like this and then I can throw the cap in. Okay, perfect. I know how to zoom. Let's see how you zoom this. Nah, I'm not even gonna try. 
Sorry. All right, y'all. So we are done with the shoot, but y'all didn't see the dress outfit. So I'll probably insert some pictures that I took on my phone of it. But um, it was super hot outside, y'all. We both said we need a good, good shower after this, y'all, because it was super hot. But um, yeah, the pictures turned out good. He was showing me some as we went, and I'm super excited to see them, y'all. Yeah, I'm just gonna go home. Hey y'all, so it is editing me again. So that was all the footage that I got from my grad photo shoot. And y'all have already seen the actual graduation pictures. And I know y'all probably like, girl, like where's the graduation vlog? Like, are you doing a graduation vlog? And unfortunately I did not film a graduation day vlog. I really wanted to, but it was such a like busy day, hectic day. I was rushing, getting ready for graduation. We weren't necessarily rushing, but we did have to like leave from straight from graduation to the restaurant. We didn't have time to really just like sit and like take a breath. And it was also storming and it was just a lot going on i was just enjoying the moment so i did not get a vlog of graduation but my family did get some clips on my camera of me walking across the stage and then also some clips on my phone and different pictures again if you follow me on instagram you've probably already seen these pictures but for those of you who don't or just don't have an instagram that is completely fine because y'all know i got y'all on a youtube okay so that's the next couple of clips that y'all going to see a real quick real quick just a little snippet of graduation and then some graduation pictures it was a great day i am now a graduate i I'm now a Sam Houston State graduate. If y'all have been watching me since I started back up YouTube, I started my sophomore year of college and it has been a journey, y'all. I still can't even believe that I graduated and it's literally been like a little over a month. Like it's crazy to say, but and enjoy these next couple clips and I will see y'all in my next video. There we go. Ooh, I know what to do. Okay, mama. <laughs> Baby, we are so proud of you. We're gonna celebrate you all day today. The youngest, the last one to graduate. We're yeah. super proud of you. Can you flip it? Keep nah, it was a little janky. She gotta get it fixed. Right. You done made it. <laughs> nice. The boy is proud of you. I understand how proud I am of you. You made it. <laughs> brother, let's go. I'm holding it down, man. Cameraman, big brother. My granny right here, you know what I'm saying? Pops. Got Jaleesa, my ain't Marvel. Oh Haley, can't wait till you see this now. It's a movie. Haley, I'm so proud of you. You did it. You worked so freaking hard. I know it was tough, but you made it. We're here. Congratulations, let's go. Little girl. Uh, let's go. You're gonna be able to see Haley's hat, mama. Her hat's right there. Is that not her? Haley, I'm sorry. Somebody got a hat similar to you. I see you now. There you go, girl. You graduated. Baby! Hey! <laughs> oh, it's blurry. Why is it blurry? Ah, look at my sister. Haley! Haley! There she Hello. go. Let me be the first. Congratulate me as the newest graduates of San Houston State University. Amen. Hey, she right there. You don't see her? She coming right now. Maggie, she on the ramp. Maria, Maria Alberto. There you go, girl. Oh. 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 There she goes. There she goes. She looks so pretty. Haley. Big red. You already know. Here he 